Hi, let's see how to fix the quit.net not working. Are you experiencing the issues with accessing the quit.net? You are not alone. Many users encountered the difficulties when trying to use the platform. In this particular video, we will explore some of the common reasons why quit.net may not be working as provide the solutions to help you get back to enjoying the content it offers. So let's see how to fix the quit.net not working. The first method is check the website status. Before trying any kind of technical troubleshooting methods, verify the quit.net website is up and running. If there is any kind of maintenance or if there is any kind of temporary ad hoc maintenance is going on. In that case, you just need to wait for some time, then you can try again later. Okay, so if the website is down, the problem is likely on the website's end and you may need to wait for it to come back online. The second method is clear your browser data, browsing data. Always try to clear the browser cookies and caches. Suppose if you are using a Google Chrome, click on these three dots, click on clear browsing data, select all time and click on clear data. So that will clear all browser cookies and caches. Follow similar methods for the Microsoft Safari and my Safari as well as the Microsoft Edge. The third method is try a different browser or the device. If the quit.net is not working on your current device or the browser, try accessing it from the different one. This can help you to rule out the compatibility issues. You can use the browser like the Firefox, Safari or the Microsoft Edge to see if the problem persists. The fourth method is use the incognito mode. The incognito mode can help you with the secret weapon against the website tracking cookies. Open the quit.net in the incognito and see if the issue persists. If it magically works for you, you know those pesky cookies might be the output or the culprit. For Google Chrome, open the Google Chrome, click on three dot top right corner, select the incognito window from the drop down menu. A new window will appear and usually the darker color than the normal. Follow similar methods if you are using the Safari or the Microsoft Edge. The fifth method is restart your device. A simple restart can often clear up the minor technical problems. Turn off your device for a wait for a few seconds, then turn it back on. For 100% hold the power button on your device. Tap on restart or reboot the option that appears on the screen. Wait for the device until it turns off and turn back on. For iPhone, press and hold the side button until the power off slide appears. Drag the slider to turn off the device. Wait for the device to turn off completely. Press and hold the side button again until the Apple logo appears, indicating that your device is restarting. Okay, so that's all about this. Thank you.